hacker group has spent the last five years invading the networks of the United Nations, several government agencies, the Olympic Committee, and defense contractors. In all, more than 72 organizations were hacked by spies dating back to 2006. McAfee gathered evidence and just published a report about the incidents dubbed Operation Shady Rat. Our next guest wrote that report. Dmitry Alperovich is McAfee's VP of Threat Research. He says these unprecedented hacks represent a grave existential economic threat to this country. And he joins us now from Las Vegas. So first of all, explain that to me, Dmitry. What, what exactly do you think we are in danger of. Sure. What, what this report has shown us is that essentially every sector of our economy has been uh, penetrated by nation state actors that have exfiltrated uh, or stolen huge amounts of intellectual property from every sector of the economy. If you think about uh, oil and gas, if you think about energy, solar power, accounting, uh, information technology, all of these industries, including government agencies uh, and uh, multinational corporations and nonprofit organizations, have been penetrated as part of long-term operation. And what they've stolen is intellectual property, uh, valuable R&D resources, negotiations for business plans that will have real impact uh, on these uh, victims uh, uh, individually, but on the economy as a whole in the years to come as uh, that data is being used to create competitive industries and products that will uh, better compete with us on the marketplace. So should we be scared? I mean, should we be afraid about all of this? Well, I think the first thing uh, we need to, knew, uh, to do is realize that this is going on. Uh, I think uh, fu fundamentally this is not a technical problem to solve, it's a political problem. We need to have a very frank conversation uh, with our adversaries, nation states that are engaging with this activity at the highest levels and uh, get them to stop this because uh, it's been done on a completely unprecedented levels. Certainly countries spy on each other, that's part of the norms of international relations, but they do it on a limited basis uh, when they're facing really strategic threats. They don't wholesale attempt to transfer massive amounts of wealth from one economy into another uh, in the way that it's being done right now. Now, these attacks have been traced back to servers in China. What can you tell us about who these hackers are? Well, we certainly believe uh, that it's a country uh, that's behind it, a particular nation state. Uh, we don't quite know who it is, uh, so we're not uh, uh, pointing fingers at anyone at the moment. Uh, we're still waiting for more evidence to be revealed. Uh, certainly, uh, we think it's also more appropriate for governments to be engaging in finger pointing at that level. Uh, but we do believe that uh, based on the interests uh, of these hackers, they were interested not just in economical data, but political, military, that it's clearly a nation state that's behind it. Okay, but is it coming from one particular place, several different places? Is it difficult to figure out who it is because they, they've been so good at covering their tracks? Yeah, usually with these attacks, you jump through a number of servers. Some of these servers are in Western countries. Some of them are in countries in Asia. So technical details alone are usually not enough to give you sufficient proof of attribution. Uh, but based on what they're going after, uh, that can ho certainly help you identify uh, which uh, nation state uh, may be interested in that type of data. But again, that's not for us to decide. That's really more of a government responsibility. Now, quickly, Dimitri, you've met with White House officials to discuss your findings. What's been their reaction and what kind of action uh, do you expect them to take? Uh, they were very grateful for the report. Um, they said they really appreciated the attention that's uh, uh, been shown on, on this issue. Uh, I think the first step to uh, resolving this problem and getting the public to understand that this is not just a national security problem, it's not just a problem for defense contractors, it's really a problem for every sector of the economy and that uh, everyday jobs are, are, are going to be impacted by this down the road um, if com uh, unscrupulous competitors take our investments in research and development and use it right. to uh, create their, their own industries. All right, Dmitry Alperovich of McAvee, thank you so much for joining us there.